Namdi Kano is winning again. See what the court plans to do on February 28th that will make Igbos and IPOPs happy. What is the plan of the court other than declaring Namdi Kano free? Everybody is already expecting Namdi Kano's freedom on that very day. Nothing more than his freedom. If there is any other pronouncement aside from Namdi Kano's freedom, then know it that it should be another fever. But the main thing that the court supposed to pronounce is no other thing than Namdi Kano's freedom. Yes, because he is due to be free. He has satisfied every condition and has won every necessary department. Do you understand now? It's not easy for someone to plead not guilty of seven count charges, 11 count charges, and 15 count charges. None of the count charges he pleaded guilty of. So what else are they looking for? Let's check the content. Nnamdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous group of Biafra, has taken the DSS and the AGF to court for allegedly violating his fundamental human rights. The DSS and the AGF, on the other hand, filed a counter affidavit rejecting the accusations in Kanu's action. On Monday, February 7th, the presiding judge, Justice Taiwo Taiwo, scheduled the hearing for Monday, February 28th. According to a report by PM News, the Federal High Court in Abuja has scheduled Monday, February 28th to hear a fundamental rights enforcement suit filed by Namde Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. According to the publication, Justice Taiwo Taiwo set the date after DSS counsel Ido Awo informed the court that his client had a counter affidavit that had not been served on Kano. Awo requested extra time from the court to serve the application on Kano's counsel, Maxwell Opera. Kano's counsel responded by saying the DSS lawyer's plea was an attempt to prolong subjecting his client to solitary confinement and other human punishment. Meanwhile, Simon Enoch, the lawyer for the Anthony General of the Foundation, Federation AGF, stated that he had submitted an application for an extension of time to regularize their counter affidavit. Neither the IPOP leaders can sell opera nor the DSS lawyer objected to the application. Justice Taiwo, who observed that the case was coming before him for the first time, scheduled a hearing for February 28. Kano, through his lawyer, Opera was said to have sued the DSS Director General, the Office, and the AGF. My dear listeners, you can now see that the courts is now catching the tricks of the federal government if it were before whatever the federal government requests or put up before the courts before you know it that request will be granted but now you can now see that all of their requests have been countered none of their requests is accepted or supported you can see so what are we saying the truth of this matter is that Nnamdi Kano has, is, uh, has, has been pleaded not guilty of all of the allegations. Yes, he has pleaded not guilty. So, what else, what else are we talking about? You see, these people... They have a plan. And I'm happy that Namdi Kano's lawyer has really cut, cut their plan. Their plan was to keep Namdi Kano more in detention 
so that he will see reason why he should liaise and negotiate. She understand now. But to their humble surprise, despite the prolongedness of the trial, Namdekano is even getting more stronger and stronger and stronger by the day. So you see that. So that is why you see that they are very, 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 very confused. They are very confused. So, my dear uh, listeners, things are becoming more tougher by the day. And I am happy that despite the toughness of this very trial, Nam Kanu is still scaling through. So, um, just like I said earlier, there is no other thing the court will have to present or we have to say aside from declaring Nam Kanu a free man because that is what, uh, what, what's supposed to, um, to happen and no other but and no other. You understand? So let us look towards that and um, and work towards that because no two ways about it. Um, and and uh, for the barrister working for Namde Kano, uh, well, I would say I'm happy that uh, Ezekome came in at the right time. You understand? Because Hadimine Ezekome hasn't come this allegation Namdi Kano's lawyer, um, Ejofo, is suffering from would have been a very big blow to Namdi Kano. So, um, Zekome being uh, a reliable lawyer, a son, a respected barrister, has now been able to counter the federal government and their, and their, and their tricks. You see that? If you look at it very well, you see that almost all the prominent lawyers are against the federal government. Are all against the federal government. You see that? So what I say? So let us be straightforward on this matter. Okay? Um, why we keep waiting for that very day to come? I will. I plead to your conscience to remain resolute, remain focused and unshaken, because the the the, the truth is what is about to be revealed, and it will be revealed anytime soon. No doubt about that. All right. Let me hear from you, my dear viewers in the house, to so please. Uh, uh, come in on this matter, okay? Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated.